Hive is a strategy game for two players by John Yanni, where players take turns placing tiles on the table next to each other to build the hive. Each tile does have its own movement rules, meaning that people sometimes compare this game to chess. And while it does sometimes feel chess-like in its strategy, the fact that the game is being played essentially from the inside out and not from the outside in, in my mind, th makes it almost an inversion of chess. This particular version of the game was made by G underscore W underscore and G W put a lot of effort into making a lot of versions of this that would make it as easy as possible for you to make. It even comes with a box which holds all of the pieces and a couple of expansions that come with Hive. Yes, Hive has many expansions. It has expansions that were created officially and expansions that have been made by the community. Hive is a surprisingly popular game. However, GW's <laughs> box doesn't have room inside of it for the rules even at a quarter sheet, which is a little bit difficult. Also, this version uses different icons than in the official version, meaning that if you find the rules and print them out, that they're not going to line up exactly. And it gets even more complicated because I could not find any copies of the rules that included how you move the expansion pieces as well. Now, I mentioned that Hive is a game that you could buy professionally, and it is published by Gen24. And it only costs about $20 for the base set that includes all of the individual pieces. And then it costs $10 for each expansion, which I should mention is just one more piece. So if you want the fully expanded game, you're going to need to get three expansions for it, which means the full version of Hive, if you buy it professionally, goes for about $50. Now, since it is actively being published and since you could buy it professionally, I'm not going to tell people that they should go ahead and print it. But I do understand why people might want to do that. Except maybe not this version of Hive. While I do appreciate the work that G -hmm W -hmm did on this version, I just ended up not being exactly what I wanted. You know, it would be nice if instead of these icons, they had like dimensional bugs on there. Oh crud, I actually started working on this like before I even had a 3D printer, more than a decade ago. Maybe it's time I revisit that.